Yes, you're right, of course. Is that this it? is just a story. Dang it. Oh, it's so, not porn. Dang oh, that's a good way to start the video, by the way. I was recording this entire time. It's just I reset, like, five seconds ago. <laughs> Dumbledore. Harry. Stop. Dumbledore. And Harry. Fanfiction. Please. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Punishment chapter one. What? <laughs> Why are my 1 a.m. Skype calls always like this? <laughs> Read it. You've gotten yourself into the rabbit hole. It's a, it's a long one, but. Read it. Draco walks out of potions class in his usual cocky manner. His two bodyguards, Crab and Goyle, trotting behind him. As he was walking to his next class, care of magical, uh, care of magical creatures, uh, a rushing Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff rushed past him and bumped into him so hard that he felt making the other bystanders laugh. He looked up with much irritation, and then called out, "Hey, you! Get back here!" Hufflepuff nervously turned around and looked at Draco. "Yes," he stuttered. "Watch where you're going, will you?" Draco shouted. The Hufflepuff merely looked at Draco, turned around, and began running again. Hey, Draco called. I'm not done with you, Draco. Then raised his wand and then hexed the rushing uh, Hufflepuff, up, giving him pimples all over his face, making the onlookers, along with Draco, laugh at the Hufflepuff. Wait, I lost where I was. Laugh at the Hufflepuff's grimace, grimace and run away. Draco, a stern voice, came out, missed from the roars of laughter around the corridor, making a laughter stop. Suddenly, the figure Dumbledore steps into the corridor, emitting gas from someone, some of the people, and Draco's eyes become wide open. Y yes sir? Draco mumbled in response. Come with me, please. Dumbledore said, stern but warm manner. Stunned but warm manner. Draco merely nodded and began slowly trotting behind Dumbledore towards his office. Everybody he walked by stared at them both in shock and amusement. After a good ten minutes of walking, Dumbledore and Draco were faced with a stone gargoyle that was guarding Dumbledore's office. Dumbles, Dumbledore simply said the words, Slick Shaft, and then the passageway opened up to both the, up to let both of them enter. When Draco entered the office, the first thing he noticed were many flasks filled with clear liquid, and then he noticed a bed of rose petals on top of it. Oh no. Some, and some ropes extending from the bedpost. Oh, he looked no. at the other side of the room and saw a table with two chairs on it, where he expected where he and Dumbledore were, would stay, and they would receive his punishment of some sort. Mm. So he began walking in that direction. After two steps, he felt a hand on his shoulder, and Dumbledore said, Dumbledore's warm voice said, No, no, not there. He turned Draco towards the direction of the velvet bed, making Draco's eyes widen and look up at the professor to see if he was kidding, but all he saw was a smile on Dumbledore's, Dumbledore's face. Reluctantly, Draco slowly began walking towards the bed, Dumbledore walking very close behind him, not letting, letting go of, of his hold on Draco's shoulders. Ugh. When... They were at the foot of the bed. Dumbledore leaned into Draco's right ear and whispered, Do you have any idea what your punishment will be, Draco? No, 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 sir, Draco muttered, still in the state of shock and confusion. Well, I guess I should inform you now, shouldn't I? Dumbledore said his warm, heavy breaths on Draco's neck, making him shudder in response. Draco didn't reply, but merely stayed quiet. Quiet. Made, stayed quiet. Suddenly, suddenly, Dumbledore's hands wandered onto Draco's hips. <laughs> Surprising, Draco. Professor? Draco gasped. Yes, Draco? Dumbledore replied casually. Well, uh, Draco muttered, but it was immediately cut short as Dumbledore had begun 
gently sucking on his exposed neck, making the rest oh. of Draco's sentence turn into nothing but a loud moan. We gotta scroll down. Let's see if I can find it. When Dumbledore had given Draco a large red hickey, he whispered in his ear, Did you like that, Draco? Draco nodded. Do you want me to compete? continue? Draco f froze. Your choice wouldn't have mattered anyways. And with that, Dumbledore pushed down Draco down on the bed, took out his wand, and muttered a spell that made the ropes so they were attached to the bedpost. That were attached to the bedpost and began wrapping themselves around Draco's wrists and ankles. Draco thrashed, screamed, and fidgeted to break three of the ropes, but there was, but they were to no avail. Dumbledore smiled to himself, and then muttered another spell that made his, his and Draco's clothes vanish into nothingness, oh. making Draco's eyes widen <laughs> and his jaw drop in a loud gasp. Dumbledore smiled, and to, him, and to himself again, he began crawling onto the bed. Until he was directly on Draco, nose to nose, lips to lips, chest to chest, stomach to stomach, erection to erection. <laughs> Wait, it's not done yet. It's going on. <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> I've never read a fan fiction before. Seems like I'm not the only one getting aroused by this, am I, Draco? Oh. Dumbledore whispered into Draco's ear. <laughs> Draco responded with a glare. Well, if you don't want to admit it yourself, then you're indeed enjoying this. That's your decision. I will do what I please to your beautiful body, and then I will obli obliviate you. Draco's eyebrows met at Dumbledore's statement, but Dumbledore resp responded with a smile. Dumbledore then proceeded to begin sucking on Draco's collarbone, softly emitting soft moans from the boy. When he had passed the hickey there as well, he began sucking on his shoulder, placing a hickey there. The entire time, Draco was emitting moans, though he was trying his best to restrain them. Dumbledore continued down and began altering, began sucking on... Draco's pink erect nipples, Stop. making him produce <laughs> his loudest moan yet. Draco Dumbledore smiled at his success, but he did not suck, stop sucking it on Draco's nipples. He altered, alternated between the two nipples, occasionally biting them, giving much pleasure to the blonde. Dumbledore traveled lower down Draco's body until his face was right in front of Jacob's pale erect, erect, eight-inch cock. He started... <laughs> <laughs> he stared at a slit, at the slit for full five seconds, and then lightly licked the, the pregum off the tip of those regular shafts. Keep going. I'm all booked. I got it. I'm like, I got it. I gotta find where I was. I've lost Dumbledore all faith in proceeded. humanity. <laughs> Dumbledore proceeded to bury his face inside Draco's thigh, sucking and licking on Draco's pale, sweaty skin. Dumbledore put his long nose on Draco's cock, oh. sniffing, <laughs> sniffing Draco and marveling at the scent of the beautiful boy before him. We scroll down. He then hovered over top of Draco. Without warning, he took as much as Dra of Draco as he could in his mouth, making Draco gasp. Draco, Dumbledore's head began bobbing up and down. I lost where I was. Draco's shaft, making Draco moan with every bit of movement. After a while, Dr Dumbledore took Draco's dick out of his off his mouth and began sucking on his balls while pumping his saliva covered shaft uh, giving the boy much pleasure it was it wasn't long before draco was extremely close to his climax and it was evidence as his moans became screams of pleasure and his hips began involuntary thrusting into dumbledore's hand when dumbledore noticed this he let go of both draco's balls and shaft then he took all of draco's cock in his mouth sending draco over the edge and also filling dumbledore's mouth Draco's hot, 
salty seed. <laughs> Draco, Dumbledore took his map of a duck Draco shaft, and then he went to sitting position, staring, and he stared at the beautiful young man's young man before him. That was Draco. Draco was sweating because of the hotness and intensity of the oral sex that he was and his professor had just done. Before, because of his fatigue, his eyes slowly began closing and slowly began shifting up from his sleep. Just when Draco was extremely close to sleeping, he felt something long and slender enter his anus. Draco was <laughs> <laughs> so oh, <laughs> penetration. <laughs> Revealing a smile, Dumbledore. You didn't, you didn't think this was done already, did you? He asked, grinning. Draco merely stared at the professor. Just then, he felt two fin fingers enter his anus, making him moan once more. His fingers, fingers, scissored inside his anus, stretching him, making him moan even louder. It's the fingers exited, and Draco winced at the lack of content. He felt three fingers enter him, and it was he was in pure bliss. The fingers stretched his anus, giving him much pleasure, and then he began probably done, screaming. I'm done. He was probably screaming of pleasure when Dumbledore, Dumbledore was contented and how stretched Draco already was. He pulled out his finger, grabbed his wand, a Kyo lube. He, start, he stated, and one of the flasks of clear liquid went flying into the room from the Dumbledore's hand. He then began covering his nine-inch shaft with his liquid. Wait, liquid as Draco watched with much interest. Do you know what's about to happen, Draco? He asked casually. Yes, sir, Draco answered. Then you must know what I'm about to do. We'll give both of us much pleasure. Ah! Dumble continued. Draco nodded. Now spread your legs and put your feet at my shoulders. Draco obl obliged. And now Dumbledore was positioned to enter Draco's anus. <laughs> Draco ah! <laughs> started. How long is this? Oh my gosh, this like, somebody had way too much fun. <laughs> Draco obliged, and now Dumbledore was positioned to enter Draco's anus. Draco was, was staring nervously at Draco's long shaft, wondering how he could fit all that in his tight little arse. But all of his, his nervous thoughts flew out the window, and Dumbledore's shaft slowly began penetrating his anus, giving Draco so much pain, but even more pleasure. When Dumbledore's stick was completely in, Enveloped in by Draco's ass. He stayed like that for an entire minute. He stared at Draco, his hot student whose ass he's balls deep in, pleasuring him and about to bring it to the hottest, longest climax yet. Then he leaned in to kiss Draco on the lips. At first, Draco was so shocked he couldn't react, but he decided to return the kiss. Draco put his hands behind Dumbledore's head, pushed him even deeper into the kiss. Dumbledore then exited the anus and then entered again, never breaking the kiss. The kiss, their lips danced and battled for dominance. Dumbledore slowly went inside and outside of Draco. When Dumbledore's head touched Draco's prostate, Draco screamed out of pleasure and entered a fighting ended up biting Dumbledore's lip, making the older man moan. Ah, yes, Professor, more! Draco shouted again and again, each time hit, but Dre Dumbledore hit the sweet spot. Draco's chance just encouraged his professor. Are you still recording this? I gotta wonder. Yep. I already <laughs> reset the run, it's just I'm recording still. Oh my gosh, so... No! Keep going! I'm sorry, Harry Potter fans. Dumbledore then the exit. Wait a second. Mm. This is gonna be its own video. I'm gonna have like a Kirby in the compilation, and this is gonna be its own video. <laughs> Draco's chance just in encouraged his professor. Dumbledore began thrusting faster and deeper into Draco's ass, making him continuously moan into the er into their eternal kiss. When Dumbledore sensed and sensed that Draco, as well as he, your chair squeaking just like adds to the immersion. It's just like they're having sex. And that's the sound of the bed. He began thrusting even faster. And grabbed Draco's dick as it began fisting the boy in rhythm to his deep thrust. No! <laughs> the moans echoed the room. 
along with the sound of skin slapping against skin and hands pumping the penis. It wasn't long before both men reached their climax. Dumbledore exploding while inside Draco and Draco releasing his seed in Dumbledore's hand and chest. Oh Merlin, Professor, Draco moaned as of the climax. Draco stayed in her. Dumbledore stayed inside Draco and entered his lips inside Draco's again. Draco voluntarily returned the kiss, but pulled Dumbledore even deeper into the kiss. Dumbledore then pulled out and stared into Draco's intense gray eyes. You are a beautiful boy, Draco, he said warmly, and then kissed Draco's forehead, making Draco blush. You may stay the night if you desire. Thank you, Professor. Draco replied before closing his eyes. They lay there for a few more few more minutes until Draco popped a question. Is this your first time, Professor? Draco asked, with both eyes still closed. First time for what? Dumbledore whispered uh, to Draco's ear. To have sexual intercourse with the student, Draco replied. Of course not, Draco. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Do you see all the quite good-looking boys in heart? Hogwarts, keep this between but keep this between us, but I've taken more than my fair hot, passionate sex and sex with the sexy students of Hogwarts. You're one uh, of the many boys I've had my eyes on for a long time, Dumbledore explained. Who are the other boys, if I may ask? Draco replied. I suddenly wide do open due to shock. Well, there's your friend Blaze. Ah, oh, yes, I remember him. He had a quite large, quite a large cock, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I bought him during that night. Dumbledore said, there are also the Weasleys. <laughs> Those two are quite a handful. I actually had to punish them more than once. Sometimes I did prevent, remember both of, at the same what? time. I did them both at the same time, <laughs> sometimes individually. Honestly, though, I I enjoy I having them both more. I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, dude. I feel you. But I, I've started it and it's almost over. It's almost over. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm good. Continue. You're good. Go, <laughs> go, go. <laughs> Honestly, though, I enjoy having them both more than I like having them individually. Do they doing it, do it willingly? Draco asked. Uh, obviously marveled at the secrets revealed to him. Oh yes, the Weasley twins admitted to their sometimes getting get admitted that they sometimes get in trouble just to be punished by me, or sometimes they just <laughs> simply come to my office for a shag. It's just. A shame that they didn't come back for their seventh year. I would have loved. I would have wanted to spend more time with those two. Dumbledore said with a chuckle. Draco smiled and looked at Dumbledore in the eye. I can't relate. Both stop. Dumbledore then said, "Well then, well there are more bores such as Oliver Wood. Though he hasn't done anything wrong, I just called him into my office, got a bit intoxicated." Got him a bit intoxicated, made a move. I gave him the night of his life. After that, though, he voluntarily came back to my office just and says he just wants to have sex with me again. That is also the case of Mr. Diggory. Oh, I missed that boy. Why is this going on so long? What? They already came twice. Why does this need to have more? What are you... <laughs> Listen, it's almost over. Draco listened intensely to Dumbledore's story. Somehow amused at the number of boys that have turned gay for his, by a, this silly old man. I can go on and on about the many students I've had sexual inter interactions with, such as Dean Thomas, Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Theodore Knott, and many more. But I can tell you, you're pretty tired. We'll need your en energy for tomorrow, Dumbledore said. What's going on tomorrow, Professor? Dumbledore asked, puzzled. Dumbledore lied next to ne beside Draco, putting his arm around his leg. Though Draco didn't complain. Instead, he moved closer to Dumbledore. Well, we, we will have a replay tomorrow morning, you know? Dumbledore whispered into Draco's ear. In response, Draco grabbed Dra Dumbledore's shaft and then said, We can have... Have replaced as many times as you want, or I want. 
He then turned his head and gave Dumbledore a light kiss on the lip and fell asleep with Dumbledore's arms and legs wrapped around Draco and Draco's hand gripping Dumbledore's penis. <laughs> Was it over? Yeah. <laughs> Can I kill myself now? Is that good? We good? <laughs> I want your CS go now. For what? <laughs> if you die, I want your CS I want your uh, Steam account. It's worth that. like 20 bucks, alright? My CS go account. Alright, well. You wouldn't be able to sell it. Oh my gosh, that hurt my head. Oh my gosh, images that will never be removed. <laughs> I have a feeling you're gonna do it again. What? You're gonna do it again. I have a feeling. Strike <laughs> 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 <laughs>